In this tutorial we want to talk about the really useful feature in Photoshop called Layer Via Cut or Layer Via Copy. They're really both uh, two sides of the one coin. But what we need before we get onto that feature is a selection. So I just have an image here and I've just got the main object in the image selected and I used a quick selection tool to do that. And so once I've got a selection ready, there's two ways to get to Layer Via Cut and Layer Via Copy. One way is through the Layer menu. So if I go to Layer, and just right at the very top of the Layer menu, I've got a new option that gives me a sub-menu. And right down at the bottom of that sub-menu, I can see Layer via Cut and Layer via Copy. Uh, there's also different shortcut keys there. But more often than not, I find the handiest way to get Layer via Cut and Layer via Copy is once I've got a selection, just move over the selection and right-click on my mouse or go Control-click on a Mac. I get a shortcut menu. And right in the middle of that shortcut menu, I see Layer Via Cut and Layer Via Copy. Now, before I go to do either one of these, just to show you the difference between them, keep an eye on the Layers window over here, because this is where all the action takes place. At the moment, I've just got a single layer, and it's called the Background Layer. So when I go Layer Via Copy, you can see what happens. A new layer gets created, and it takes whatever was selected and copies it out onto a new layer. And I'm still left with the original background. It doesn't look as if much has happened in here on my image because I've just got one layer over the other and the two layers are almost exactly the same. But when I turn off the background layer, we can see that it stops shining through the tr area of transparency of the upper layer, of the top layer here. So we can see what's happening there. I've got on that upper la layer, I've just got the owl in the middle of the image. And on the bottom layer, well, the bottom layer is still the original. So that's Layer Via Copy. Now, the difference between that and Layer Via Cut, if I just undo by going Command-Z on my keyboard on a Mac or Control-Z on a, on a PC, and I get my selection back again. This time, I'm going to right-click, and instead of going Layer Via Copy, I'll choose Layer Via Cut. Again, keep an eye on the Layers window over here to see what happens. So as soon as I go Layer Via Cut, almost exactly the same thing that happened before happens, except this time, the top layer is the same, it has cut out the owl onto that top layer, but it leaves an empty space in the background here where nothing is there. And again, just to show you that, if I hide the background layer by toggling off the visibility on the background, and I can see the top layer is more or less the same, but uh, if I toggle off the top layer, we can see an empty space where the owl once was. And that's Layer Via Cut and Layer Via Copy, two very, very useful and very commonly used tools in Photoshop.